to Auckland. The Radio Wemo Breakfast. Time to steer into the night sky with Dylan Story from the Auckland Star Dome Observatory. Thank you very much to them. Good morning to you, Dylan. Good morning, Wemo. And it's a big weekend for NASA, big weekend for space watchers, and also a bit of a sad weekend as the last space shuttle launch gets underway. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a historic event. Um, space shuttle Atlantis, the last shuttle to be launched, is um, there on its landing pad. And the latest news is that the rotating service structure has just been moved away from it. So I guess that's kind of kind of clearing it for launch, the final far up of the engines. What time is it meant to um, happen New Zealand time? In uh, New Zealand time, it's around about 3.30 p.m. our time. So in about eight hours from now. P- p.m.? Not, not, not a.m.? No, that's right. It's going to go at um, 11.26 Eastern Standard Time. Eastern. It's a, a night time launch? Yeah. No, uh, no, no, well, in America it will be daytime, yeah. I believe. Hang on. Hang on, Dylan. I can't. can't <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Hang on. Let no, me maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Let me check. No, it. yeah, it'll be night time. Yeah, this, yeah. Well, if it's if it's if it's three thirty our time, or they're about three fifty, whatever, it will be. It has to be night time over there because they're. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tw- Eleven twenty six p.m. It must be. Um, yeah. American time. So they're they're all saying because today is still yesterday in America. So they're all still on their news bulletin saying the launch is tomorrow. But of course, for us, it's today. Yeah. Well, that's pretty um, pretty exciting. But how likely is it to go ahead? Well, there's weather. Um, uh, the latest weather forecast was a thirty percent chance. It's a thirty percent window for good weather. So, um, yeah, I guess not not too likely. And and if we know anything about previous shuttle launches, um, often most of them don't seem to get off on time at all, and sometimes they're delayed days, if not weeks. Sometimes they're delayed months. Yeah, sometimes they find some little. Um, chip in a fuel hose somewhere and they have to pull the whole thing apart and rebuild it but um, oh, hopefully Atlantis will get up successfully mm. Mm. Um, uh, and of course what, I mean, what, what, what's the purpose of this final launch what are, what are the, what's their mission, what are they going to do uh, they're taking scientific instruments up to the International Space Station, they're going to launch they're going to change the crew they're going to refresh the supplies um, they'll be taking all sorts of stuff up it, because the the shuttle is the last of the heavy lifters. Um, they're trying to take all the last of the heavy stuff up. The Russian Soyuz spacecraft will be servicing it from now on, which has a lighter payload, so um, that'll be fine to transport smaller goods and astronauts. But um, the last of the big heavy stuff will hopefully be going up on, shut- on the space shuttle Atlantis. So in a lot of ways this will mean sort of the... Um, International Space Station has essentially finished its main construction, and it's not going to be. A, there's not going to be a lot, a lot more construction because what with the Russian vehicles, they can really only carry people, can't they? And 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 some equipment, but nothing that you could construct a space. Some station equipment, with. but they certainly can't can't um, bring modules, or space station modules up or anything like that. Hmm. I mean, they do have. You know, they can they can definitely resupply and and keep the station supplied with spare parts and everything yeah but uh, there won't be any major add-ons um and I know, I know this whole timing thing can be quite confusing dylan dylan but um the, the launch is meant to happen 11 26 a.m friday their time so that would be in fact early in the morning new zealand time tomorrow morning so it's oh, actually tonight okay new zealand time um, and uh, the 70% chance that weather will delay its departure. Yeah. So you could perhaps okay, and gamble you can watch that it time. launch. You, mm. you can watch the launch live on NASA TV. If you just Google NASA TV, then um, if your internet connection's good enough, which mine is only sometimes, then you'll be able to watch it live. Yeah. And um, just quickly, let's look forward to uh, future space travel and um, and Mars. I know Mars is one of the uh, places that, of course, NASA do want to go. Have they found a landing place? Well, they've um, narrowed it down to two spots. Um, the, the next Mars rover to launch is going to be 
launched later in the year. It's got a window of launch from the 25th of November to the 18th of December. So that's the sort of time period it has to launch in in order to um, get the junction between the planets right. So so Earth is in the right place to send it off so that it, so that it arrives at Mars. Um, and the purpose of it is to look for signs of life. The, the previous rovers discovered the fact that it was likely that there had been liquid water on Mars in the past and that the climate had been a lot warmer, mm. and that presented the possibility for life to have existed in the past. So the next Mars rover is um, going to look for, look for evidence of that, basically. So it's got, there's two craters identified, and the craters are important because they're, they're the low-lying places where water would exist. So there's the Eberswold Crater, which is, um, I think, an old river delta. So that will likely, if anywhere, if anywhere will contain traces of um, uh, of sediment and, and possible um, signs of uh, ancient life there. And the other crater is the Gale Crater, which is thought to be an old lake bed, an ancient lake bed. And um, so they'll be deciding that probably in the next month where the actual landing place of this thing will be. So it sounds like a suitable place if they were to uh, be searching for uh, previous existence of life. You'd think that's where you'd look, wouldn't you? Sort yeah. of at river beds and, and lake lake beds. Yeah. All right, well, what's happening at the um, Auckland Star Dome? Well, the news from the Star Dome is that uh, the prices have dropped, which makes it more accessible to the public. So the price of an adult show has gone from $16 down to $10. Um so much more affordable for people to go along and see the shows. Mm. Um, there's also a, a decrease in price for students and for seniors and um, for education visits for schools. Well, so that's, um, that's pretty, good. Good, pretty good value for money when you get a live presenter, you get a lot of um, information about space, you get the uh, cutting-edge digital planetarium system. And if it's a clear night, you get telescopes as well to look at some of the things in the sky. Mm. Nice. All right. Well, um, don't forget that that shuttle launch is going to be happening uh, if it goes ahead on time at um, 3.30, around 3.30 a.m. New Zealand time tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. Uh, But Dylan, thanks very much to you. We'll talk to you next week. No worries.